All right, everybody, it's that time where you want to know about the outfitting of the new Apex Rebound and Ringer. Well, I've got the Rebound right here in front of me, and uh, I'm going to show you where I am at the prototyping stage and what we're thinking about for production. I think you're going to be excited. But hold on to your hats. There's some new stuff in here, and uh, I think you're going to like it. All right. Keep in mind what we're looking at is prototype number one of the Rebound. Uh, a lot of handmade stuff here. In fact, almost everything handmade. The shape of the boat, not handmade. That was CNC machined, uh, but just a super uh, rough one-off plug. Final boat will be gloss finish and absolutely beautiful. Cockpit rim, same thing. Cockpit rim is actually handmade, just hand laminated over some foam. I was, uh, Harry did the job on that at Nello. It was pretty awesome. Uh, those thigh braces are handmade by me with five-minute epoxy. <laughs> Um, and those, uh, those thigh braces, by the way, I'm actually super proud of, um, the shape, I think you're going to love, we're going to have that concept of thigh brace, but it's going to extend forward some and continue to wrap down <coughs> it's, and it's built in, <coughs> sorry, it's going to be built into the cockpit rim. Uh, and that cockpit rim is a separate piece. It's going to drop in. It's also going to be, um, uh, super slick. You're going to like, uh, you like how it works. It holds a skirt on real nice. And the thigh braces are pretty epic. All right, let's take a look at the seat. This seat is a CNC machine uh, piece of foam. If you look on my Facebook and on the Apex Watercraft YouTube channel, you can see actually where the seat's being machined. And what's cool about machining a seat is that I can create multiple sizes. Now, for some dumb reason, I put a, uh, a large women's seat <laughs> in my boat. Why? Because I'm so used to doing that because when you have a plastic seat, you don't have a choice. You, you got to make a large, a large butt seat and then you just hip pad it in. Well, with a CNC machine seat, we can create several shapes so we can have your skinny butt, your medium butt and your big butt seat. Uh, so when I get back um, to Portugal, I'm going to have a, a skinny butt seat ready for me, which uh, obviously gives you a lot of control. Now what's the beautiful thing about a, a, a full foam mini cell seat, all this thickness, it's all pad, it is all soft, it's all comfortable. And because uh, this seat is a, a CAD file, I'm able to, to uh, design exactly the ergonomics that allow for comfortable all day seating and a lot of control into your seat. Now, if you notice on the sides, you know, the seat is being held in by these vertical, uh, these vertical blocks. This is just literally three inch mini cell, but it fits perfectly between the seat and the wall. Those, those three inch blocks are what the hip pads are attached to. These hip pads, by the way, um, pure mini cell. Again, these were hand formed, but we will have a CAD file uh, to machine these. Um, they have a perfect angle and unlike the, the types of, uh, the hip pads you see in plastic boats, those are thermoformed. And one thing I can tell you about a thermoformed hip pad is you can't make that shape. It, why can't you make it? Because there's got too much, uh, too much um, over, too much hook basically. And in a in a, a cloth covered thermoformed hip pad, like you'll find in uh, most brands or all brands, whitewater kayaks, you can't make that amount of hook. So they don't have a whole lot of hook to really lock you in. So I'm not going to do that. We're going to machine it out and provide the right amount of hook to really give you a secure feel to it. Um, the, there, there's something else I want to show you. Um, yes, we are doing uh, the sailing cleat rope D-ring back band. Why? It's the lightest weight, and lightweight is absolutely critical. Every piece of your boat needs to be lightweight if you want the total boat to be lightweight. Um, right now, I'm playing with some different ropes. And I can tell you that the rope I just tried here isn't working. So this exact rope will not be in your boat. Um, I've been doing this system now for uh, many years, like 18 years. And having the right rope is critical. But I wanted to play around and make sure that we uh, supply the, the best rope with the longevity and also uh, holding power. And this may have longevity, but it doesn't have holding power. So we're not using that rope. All right, next. What is the, this thing? This is an accessory. It's a vertical wall. Notice there's no wall in the back. Well, there is, there's no need for a wall in the front unless you're doing two things. One, if you're doing some really big wave surfing, 
like, you know, stakeout style, for example, you'll want walls in the front and the back because you're landing on super hard water, going really fast from really high, uh, high elevations. So having um, vertical walls just provides extra support. This boat is incredibly stiff, meaning, uh, you know, I'm standing on the wall now, but anyway, you can stand on it like this and there is, you can't see, but there isn't any, any give. Um, the deck is stiff, the hull stiff. It's full foam all the way out. I mean, it is, I don't know, no other way to say it. It's rock solid, there's zero give. Um, but a vertical support uh, takes the pressure off the seams and everything else. So anyway, now how do you make things lighter? Well, you, you, you do everything, is, you try to include things and not have a lot of extras. So as you know, I'm a big fan of inflatable um, under the legs and vertical support for the for the thing, you know, happy seat, happy thruster concept, right? One of my favorite things in the world. Now, obviously getting in and out is a pain in the butt and uh, it's extra and it weighs something. So simple, 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 simple. Haven't even tried it yet, but I'm getting ready to go out Rock Island in a minute. Uh, a wall that sticks up above the top. Do you have to have that? Of course you don't. If you want to use um, an inflatable system, uh, they're available all day long. Now, what about the part under your legs? What is the inflatable part on your leg to have to see? What is that? That provides, it's almost like toe clips on a bicycle. Do I think that's important? Absolutely. Wouldn't be using it every day if I didn't think it was important. Well, how do we solve that problem? Look how long this seat is. This supports your thigh way out front. It's got a lot of upward angle lift. So this seat actually does the trick. So you, when you push down on a leg, you're pushing down against the seat. So that seat, look at that nice little hole there. Whoa. There, my thigh touches there, my thigh touches there. You push down there or lift up there. So you've got the control you need. All right, now this is ghetto as in, this is like the Frankenstein version. Uh, and this is not, not sure formed, absolutely no touch up, just 100% glue and go. I should show you what it looks like with my uh, feet in there. Uh, yes, we're going to create a CNC. You see how beautiful that is. We're going to create a CAD file for the for the feet that's going to cut out and give you a place that houses your feet. You can go barefoot. You can go with shoes. Um, and yes, you can uh, you can adjust it yourself. In fact, it's going to be mandatory you adjust it yourself because your inseam is different than mine and different than the next guy's. Right. So there's going to be a little bit of um customization to go on there but what we're going to do up front with that seat with that uh that block of foam it's not going to have huge gaps against the top like like most people just put in a three inch foam block and it doesn't touch the top and bottom it's just a quick and easy we're going to make a nice big thick block machine it to the right shape and then you can uh, tweak it for uh for leg length after that so uh what is the um uh, back to the general concept and what concept am I following? Rule number one, weight, total weight concept. Every single piece in this boat is weighed. Um, I'm weighing my gear. I'm weighing everything. You weigh it dry and you weigh it wet. Um, well, you know, a sweet cheeks, for example, I love those things. Unbelievable. It's one of the, it's the best system for molding into your butt. Um, anything additional like that, um, soaks up water and adds a little bit of weight. This boat is 17 and a half pounds as is, ready to paddle. It was 18 and a half pounds with, uh, when I had the, you know, the happy feet, sweet cheeks, happy feet, or happy seat, happy thruster. So we saved a pound right there. Um, is that a lot? And that we saved a pound plus I jacked the seat up an inch. <laughs> anyway, um, so what is, um, uh, what's the finished product going to look like? The seat's going to have a similar look. In other words, that's what the machine looks going to look like. The hip pads aren't, are going to have a, a similar look, but they'll be machined in, a, in, a, in a, pretty, um, a pretty shape with a lot of hook. And we'll have shims that you can, you can glue shims on the back. Like The hip pads will be minimalist. And then with, uh, with shims that you glue on the back in order to make it as tight as you want. This wall, I have no idea what it's gonna look like in the end. Um, it's gonna be an accessory. The boat will come without it. Um, but if you use a happy thruster or you use an over thruster, well then uh, this thing weighs, you know, the amount of wall here, that weighs like a 10th of a pound. 
and it will do the trick and it's not in your way. You don't have to take it out. You don't have to worry about losing it. It's not in your way getting in and out. So anyway, I don't know why I didn't think of that one before. So I'm pretty fired up on that. Um, grab handles. I think I showed you these already. I'm just kind of proud of them. That's a Cobra knot. If you look at um, Mad Max, uh, Thunder, uh, uh, Fury Road, you'll see the, you know, the new Mad Max. He's wearing a Cobra knot bracelet. Super cool. <laughs> That's where I got the idea. Um, but if you look at it, even where the security bar is, Cobra knot, super strong, super good on the, um, on the hands. Okay. Stickers, logos. Uh, I kind of like that. That's a nice logo. I think that one's kind of ghetto. I need it. That's just a, a sticker I got made. I'm not super impressed with it, but it's what I have. Um, so we're designing the overall look. Um, I can tell you Apex Watercraft's probably not going to be on the knees. Why? Because I'm tired of having brand names on the knees. I want to do a little different. Um, if anybody has any ideas what they want to see graphic wise, feel free to, to hit me up on that. But one more time, goal, minimum weight. There's no point in spending $3,000 on a kayak and have five pounds of dead weight in it. Most outfitting, at least five pounds of dead weight. Dead weight meaning doesn't do any good. You want control, you want comfort. If it can be good looking, you want it to be good looking. Now, gray foam, is gray foam good looking? Well, to me it is because it's uh, light and you can make it shape nice. Hey, you want to have some cool designs on there and paint on there? Uh, you're not going to get it in the rebound, how come? Or the ringer, because it's dead weight and we don't need it. I want to be comfortable, lightweight. And what does this also not do? It doesn't absorb any water, zero. No water whatsoever means no weight when, you, um, when you're out paddling. You sponge your boat out, it's bone dry. It doesn't have, it's not holding any water. Um, which means the thigh pads, the foam thigh pads in here, they will be raw foam. There will be not any cloth on there. Cloth is actually more abrasive um, and absorbs water. The hip pads, no cloth on them. Seat, no cloth on them. Backband, um, right now the backband is cloth. Um, I haven't come up with a better way. It has to be strong. You need to have webbing. It takes a lot of force. So if I can come up with a way that it can absorb zero water, I'll do that. But I haven't figured that one out yet. So, um... I hope you like what you're seeing um, and you understand my um, design parameters. Rule number one, you want, you want performance, you want lightweight, you want it to be good looking, you want it to be durable. These, um, these factors are what I'm designing off of and so you're seeing things a little bit different. You will need to um, uh, do a little uh, trim work on your feet unless you just happen to be short-legged and fit perfectly right out of the gate You'll have to do a little trim work there You'll have to decide how many shims you need for your hip pads You'll have to decide what size butt you have and we'll make sure you have a, a seat that size um, There's gonna be a standard, but if you've got a skinny butt Instead of the the edges coming to here, you know, this would be in like another inch and you will have a beautiful uh, contour that will house you really well. There'll be no side to side movement, even without the hip pads, which is super cool. Also notice, look how high the seat comes up in the back. This is a lot of space. It's coming up like four inches. Um, a hard plastic seat coming up that high will destroy your back, but you can do it with a soft, with a foam seat, even though it comes up and you lean back, there's some impact on there. The seat flexes and it doesn't hurt your lower back. Um, ask David Grubbs about his lower back. Um, having a high seat that doesn't flex is not good for you when you're uh, freestyle kayaking. Uh, I think that's all I got for you right now. Uh, the rebound logo here or there, not sure. Probably just the arrow here. Somewhere, say Apex Watercraft, probably up front somewhere. Um, and that'll be it. I'm going to test that out and see if we can't make a clean version of that. Um, Having a wall that you can pull in and out um, when you need it, that also acts as your happy thruster. It's pretty sweet, anyway, or the over thruster. So, yeah, cool. Anyway, hope you enjoyed uh, the outfitting. Um, you know exactly where we're at and what we're doing. Uh, you're going to see the world championships. Ooh, production boat. We'll see.